Good afternoon and welcome to the August 11th um, Civil Service Commission meeting. May we have a roll call, please? Here. Commissioner Gregorian? Here. Gantis? Yes. Anukian? Yes. And for the record, Commissioner Coleman is absent. Thank you. What's next? Minutes. Okay. What's your pleasure, gentlemen? Uh, once again, I would like to compliment uh, Sandra on the outstanding short form minutes. They are absolutely perfect, and I move for approval without reading. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. May we have a roll call, please? Commissioner Devine? Yes. Antis? Yes. Gregorian? Yes. Anukian? Yes. What's next? Oh, I'm yes for everything from oral communications on because I arrived during oral communications. Okay, with that noted. What's oral next? communications? Speaking of. <clears throat> Senator, what's next? Recruitment examination status report. Was there nobody for, Mr. Chairman, were there nobody for oral communications that thought? Oh, I'm sorry. She had or, uh, mentioned oral communications. Oh, I didn't hear that. I apologize. I didn't hear the oral. What, you interrupting? I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> okay. I see no cards. Is there anyone in the audience who wants to speak at oral communication? I see none. What's next? Recruitment examination status report. Mr. Doyle. Mr. Chair, members of the Commission, uh, this item is for your information only, and it's our uh, recruitment and examination status report. You can see it has the, uh, the names of each of the HR staff as well as the various recruitments that are at different stages. Uh, again, these are the recruitments that are currently active. Uh, you see some are open, some are promotional, some are for hourly positions and uh, the, the dates they're open and closed and whatever examinations that happen to be scheduled uh, for those, uh, those various processes. If uh, you have any questions on uh, this report, be happy to try and answer them. Okay, fellow commissioners, any questions? Everybody's okay with it? What's next? Eligible list established. Mr. Doyle. Mr. Chair, uh, since our last meeting, we have not established any eligible lists. So. This is the first. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen one when there's not been eligibility list established. Never. 11 years. 11 years today. Okay, so then we can go to the next item. Agenda forecast. Mr. Doyle. Mr. Chair, uh, uh, in addition to uh, whatever class specifications or bulletins uh, arise, uh, we do have a couple items for our upcoming meetings for August 25th. We'll have, uh, again, a very brief report on the uh, reinstatement appeal process uh, as per uh, Commissioner Devine's request at our last meeting just to discuss uh, possibly uh, a, another uh, amendment to the, the, uh, the rules involving uh, reinstatement appeals. Uh, we also anticipate having the end of the year or end of the fiscal year report on hourly employment. That would be uh, our listing of all the positions uh, in the city that have uh, exceeded uh, 1,250 hours in the uh, fiscal year as per the Commission's request. Uh, that's typically done in the, in the second meeting of August for each fiscal year. And then in the meetings in uh, September, we have uh, various things coming back to you, including the uh, our annual activity report, which Ms. Mallon is present, preparing, and, and uh, we hope to have the civil service uh, rule amendments uh, for your uh, ultimate approval on uh, September the 8th. With that, uh, if there's any questions or anything you'd like to add to our, uh, our uh, agenda for future meetings, please uh, feel free to let me know. Okay. Any questions? I see none. What's next? Reports and information passed to employee performance evaluations. Okay, Mr. Gantis, you want to take that? I'd be glad to, Mr. Chairman. Find it. Yes, we have no past dues from the city manager's office, no past dues from the city treasurer's office, no past dues from finance, no past dues from the Glendale Water and Power, no past dues from human resources, no past dues from the library, no past dues from the police, and no past dues from public works. We have a total of 23 past dues of which 17 are first and six are second, which is very, very good news. <clears throat> Mr. Chair, if I could point out uh, yes. the uh, some of the larger departments with 
large numbers of employees that are, have no past dues. Uh, point out Glendale Water and Power with 380, 83 employees, police 362 employees, public works. Uh, it's really quite quite amazing. Absolutely, I agree. S staying on top of that, so we appreciate that. Okay, um, what's next? Civil Service Commission and our staff comments. Okay, gentlemen, any comments? I just wanted to uh, send a shout out to our fellow commissioner, Mr. Coleman. Wish him he gets better soon so he can join us, hopefully, for the next meeting. I just spoke to him, and he's feeling a little bit better, and hopefully he'll join us next time. Um, what's next? Closed session. Okay, we're going to go into a closed session. Are we reporting out? We will probably report out, Mr. Chairman, but this should be ending our televised portion. We will Absolutely. not be reporting out the televised. Okay, thank you.